All right, saints, we continue with uh, who is this Melchizedek? Uh, we just read paragraph 190 to 192. I'm continuing on 193. Here, here is a person sitting here, clipboard or something, laying on a cot. Can you hear me through this mic? I don't know you. You are just a woman laying there. If I could heal you, I could do it. I can't heal you. All right. It's just a man who is rejoicing. His child was healed. While the prophet is addressing uh, this woman that was laying on the court, and the prophet said maybe it could be creepo or something, then there was a man who started shouting, rejoicing, which attracted their attention. Then the prophet just told the audience, say, no, it's a man who's rejoicing because its child has been healed. I don't know you. You are a woman and I'm a man. This is the first time we, are, we, are, we, we have met in life. I suppose these people that brought you, frankly, this is your first time here, just brought you. You come from a long way. You are shadowed to death. You have got you have cancer. It's not cripple, it's cancer. The doctors can't do no more for you. It's true. You are sure to die. Those doctors can do no more for you. The prophet is already discerning that woman. The prophet, by the Spirit of God, already knows that the prophet had declared that that woman was not going to be healed and that, uh, uh, I mean, medical, she was beyond the med medical redemption. And now the Spirit of God is confirming that whatever the doctor said is exactly the truth. Is exactly the truth. To prove and to vindicate that it was not Rabbanam, it was God who had come and was operating in the form of a man in our midst. To prove that we are following God himself, the creator of the heavens and earth. Oh, I am so grateful to be made one of, uh, one of them. Uh, because this is the only chance that I, I know that I stand on. Outside this, there can't be. I am not a cultured man, cultured man. I don't have any personality like most of the great servants of God. And the only thing that I have is this message. And uh, I love it with all my soul and heart. I just pray that the Lord may help me to be able to, to be what he wants me to be. Paragraph, and may it be the same for you, brothers and sisters, whoever listens to this message. We are actually quoting from the message, who is this Melchizedek, our spiritual food in due season. 194. One time there was three lepers set at the gate of Samaria, and them lepers said, why do we sit here till we die? Because... All of the sicknesses starving to death and eating one another's children. They said, if we go down to the enemy camp, the Syrians, if they kill us, we are going to die anyhow. If they save us, we will live. And they took that chance. And by that faith, they not only saved themselves, but the whole group. Here the prophet is, 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 is explaining this thing. To, to this person that's on the, this woman on the court, laying on the court and uh, bedridden by, by cancer, which was now beyond medical redemption, knowing that medicine does not heal, but it only aids. And uh, sometimes they can even tell you that at this time now, nothing we can give you is going to help you. That was the state of this woman. And now Brabanam now begins to explain and, uh, what happened in the Old Testament. Uh, to, 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 the, to the rappers that were sitting on the gates of Samaria when Samaria was besieged. And inside the city, people were eating one another because they, were, they had been besieged by the enemy and they were afraid to go out. But then what happened was, what happened was, these are the three rappers who were sitting on the gate. They said to one another, look, sitting here is not going to help us because already within the gates, People are eating one another and they're eating one another's children. So uh, 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 we know that where the enemy is there, where they have uh, put the siege, there's, there's, they've got food. It's us who have been cut away from the food. For I don't know how many months that the siege was. So they took a chance 
and they moved out to go to the enemy camp. But what happened was, they, it was an act of faith to, 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 to leave their camp and go to the enemy's camp. It was an act of faith. And the prophet is explaining to this woman that is bedridden by cancer at the point of death that here you need to act with faith because you've been given up by the doctors and now uh, the, you, the only chance you have, my brothers, my sister, whenever you are reading these discernments, you should put yourself in the position with whatever problem that it may be a sickness, it may be, it may be financing, it may be marriage issue, it may be any other issue in life which you, 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 you have come to and you are unable to go through. Whenever we are reading this, uh, when you are feeding this food, whenever the prophet is making discernments, he is actually also discerning you and me. If you can just receive it by faith, this is God it will do the same way for you. So the prophet uh, gave this advice to this woman. And uh, by that faith, they not only saved themselves, but the whole group. Because when they got to the enemy camp, they found that the enemy had, 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 had been killed. Somehow God had killed those people. I can't remember the story. And then they were able to have plenty of food and also to call others to, to go there and... Uh, uh, have the root, have the root of the food. So it's the same thing today. Paragraph 195. Now, you are going to die if you lay there, but you are not asked to go to the camp of the enemy, but you are invited to the house of the Father. Blessed be the name of the living God. Now, you, you are dying with cancer. You can't live outside of God. You are not from this city. You are not from around here. You come a long way. You are from Miruawaki. That's true. That's right. I seen the city. I know it. That's right. And now the prophet is designing, making discernment. Now hear the language. I know the city. Hallelujah. And then Rabbanam says, it's not me speaking, it's him. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of God. Oh my, 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 man. He tells us that he doesn't know this angel's name. But uh, anyway, it's a thing that has to be a revelation. <laughs> I know there's brothers out there uh, who understands what I'm talking about. He also told us that there was three words that he was given by, by the angel, which no mortal on earth knows, and he never revealed those words. But uh, if you will have him, uh, maybe God can reveal those things to you. And uh, that's true, that's right. I seen the city, I know, that's right. Do you believe? Will you accept God now as your healer? If you will, no matter how weak you are, how bedfast you are, I believe in your case. I would rise up in the name of Jesus Christ. I would rise up in the name of and take that court and go home and live to the glory of God. You see, now, Brabham says, no matter how sickness, no matter how bedridden you, you, you are, rise up and take that court and go home. If you love Christ, if you love our Lord, you realize that he did this again when he came to the Jews and he repeated this when he came to us in our day, in the second coming of Christ. To me, the second coming of Christ is the coming of the Son of Man. It's not this, the coming they talk about. Oh my, blessed be the name of God. And take that coat and go home and live to the glory of God. Will you obey me as God's prophet? Then he says, will you obey me as God's prophet? And Baba Namoro says, I am not the prophet. He is the prophet. So who was speaking? Is the prophet. Which prophet? The prophet which Moses promised to the Jews. The Lord your God shall raise up a prophet among you. This is the same prophet that came to us now in the Holy Ghost form in the form of the angel and manifested through the body flesh of a redeemed son of man. Oh, blessed be the name of God. This is wonderful. Then rise up and go. Be well. Don't be scared. Get up off the get up off the court. God will make you whole. See? Blessed be the name of God. Hallelujah. Oh, bless you, saints. May the power of God rest upon you too.